Welcome, 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 welcome. Tanya had to go at me for not saying enough welcomes last time, so <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Vet in a Van, which is a bit ironic, really, because where's the vet? <laughs> She's not here, anyway. So Tanya, the vet, is in Milangimbi, which is a community on another island, and yeah. the van, where's the van? It's in... The van's in Nullanboy, which is on the mainland. We're in a house. Kids are going to school or about to go to school. We need to and we're in Elko Island. So anyway, <laughs> welcome to another episode of Vet in the Van. But we'll get to all of this later. Not not in this episode, in, I don't know, when I catch up, which will be a few weeks or something like that. But anyway, amazing fishing. But that aside, this episode is all about Kings Canyon. Do you guys remember Kings Canyon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what did you guys do Kings Canyon? I can't just sit over. They did the rim walk. We did the rim walk and oh, it was yeah, epic. It yeah. took us quite a while, but hands down, one of the most incredible walks we've ever been on. Just amazing. But anyway, hopefully the footage will speak for itself. So enjoy. All right, so with Uluru behind us, we are back on the road now, heading to Kings Canyon. Kings Canyon. So it is a three hour drive, um, supposedly, according to Google. Um, about, what is it, 300 k's. So it'll probably be three and a half, maybe four hours with stops and all that kind of stuff. So we'll get there in the afternoon. Um, but we're going to stay Discovery, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So there's, uh, was there only the one on, well, there's, there's Discovery. Kings Creek Station. It's yeah. A little bit further. They both look like the same ratings. Yep, they're the same on Wiki. So we figured we're only we're probably only be there for one, maybe two nights. Um, so we'll just go close to the canyon so we can just do our sunrise, sunset, all that malarkey. But anyway, three, four hours of driving through the desert. Yeah. See you there. <laughs> pork riblet and one chicken. Yeah, so I've seen the dry edge rib and I'm 100% going for it. It looks amazing. The what? The dry age. The dry age. Rib on the bone. Rib on the bone or yeah. dry aged rib on the bone. Yeah. Is it going to be dry like jerky? I don't know. I'm going to try it. What are you going for? So we've got parma. Pizza. 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 And pizza. And pizza. And pizza. They all want pizza. They all want pizza. I thought you said pie. Okay, pizza for wine. I'm so hungry. I'm done. I wanted everything. Yeah, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry now. I want everything. Alright, so Giles track, what do you reckon guys? What? Giles track 22 Ks. One to two days. Yeah, big. Where are we going? Kings, Kings Creek. Two Ks. <laughs> another day, another sunset. Here in Central Australia, we are uh, have arrived at Kings Canyon, and we're doing what's this walk, Tons? The Kings Creek walk. So we're going to go do the Kings Creek walk. Hopefully get some nice sunset shots because the light coming in is beautiful and it's an easy family walk and we've all just been to the pub and had dinner but look at this I mean it is still epicness anyway let's explore <laughs> This, um, this short little family walk is just down low, but tomorrow morning, the plan tomorrow morning is to get up at six o'clock and go up along the ridge. So basically, hopefully, if all goes well, we'll be all the way 
along there tomorrow morning and the sun's setting over there now so it'll rise over there so we should get up onto the ridge and and see the sunrise but it is pretty cool the flies aren't that bad either just the colors man the colors are amazing Cave of Toby, you think? It's a pretty good cave. I think it's a pretty good Toby-sized cave. We've got the, the curse of the everyone has plugged thongs. I tell you what, whatever whatever shots I put in here are not doing this justice. The, because it's dark down here, because we don't have the sun, but then if I tilt back, you can see like all the ridge line has still got the sun on it. And the colors through the ridge line is just beautiful. And the temperature's come off now as well. So it's nice and temperate. And as always, there's no one else here except for us because we're the only people crazy enough to be doing this in the heat. Maybe not the only people, but not like high season, I'll put it that way. And then, <laughs> not many, if any, but like you can see, oh, look at the light on the rocks up there. I'll see if I can get some with the camp. Like it's just beautiful. Okay, people must just get sick of me saying how beautiful everything is. But it is, this is the thing. <laughs> no. Check this tree out. So it looks like a normal tree from here. It's, it's like part of it survived and it's just still growing, but the other, like the inside of it's dead. You come around here and like, it's a dead tree, but like an alive tree around it. I can't really see it, it's too dark. Like a dead tree and a live tree all in one. Just the bark's living. Very cool. I don't yep. think you'll ever get used to the just amazing colours and these crazy kids. <laughs> so we've made it up bright and early to hopefully catch the sun just coming over this epic, epic scenery here at Kings Canyon. So we're just gonna do the main walk today. It's only six k's, but it goes all the way up along the ridge. Um, so the kids have been fed and watered. And no, uh, you guys gonna do six k's fine? Yeah! yeah. How about you? Oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> all right, Kings Canyon walk, let's do it. Hey, <laughs> Eli, feels like we only did you see yesterday. Do you know what that is? We were here. <laughs> Puffed? Yeah. How you going, honey? Oh. <laughs> a bit unfit. Doing the stair climb? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. <coughs> Look at the sign, Sass. We were um, talking to an older British couple. Um, I don't know, I think it was back at Yulara. And we were talking about 
whether or not they were going to do this walk because they were coming here too. And the guy, the guy has just looked at us in this like, I don't know, like a thick sort of northern England accent. And he's gone, I ain't starting any war. It's got a defibrillator at the front. That's a bad sign. <laughs> it's one of those things that just sticks with you. So, so there is a defibrillator, defibrillate, defibrillator at the start of this walk. And I tell you what, these first steps certainly is a leg day. I think the kids are doing better than I am. Well, I'm doing better than Hans and Toby. We're down there. How you going, guys? Got a lot of this. I mean, come on. Up the top is going to be absolutely epic. So the top tough bit is that's all layered is Marini sandstone, which is 400 million years old. And the softer, crumbly bit underneath is Karma from sandstone, which is 440 million years old. That is cool. Wow. Yet again, you can see why these are so popular. The view from up here into Kings Canyon is a bloody ripper. <laughs> I was gonna say beautiful, but I think I said, I've been saying that too much because we've been presented with so much unbelievable scenery. But uh, with the sun rising over, it is just, Stunning, have a look behind me here. Tiny coming up. So this feels like you are standing on top of the world. How good is that, huh? Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Have a look. Very impressive. But I shouldn't stand here, otherwise, I'm going to fall to my death. When you, um, when you get up the top here, it's very Lost City-esque, Lost City-esque, Lost City-esque. These big red towers around us and juxtaposed with the green vegetation and the blue sky. I mean, the GoPro won't do it justice, but it's pretty stunning. And then you've got that over this side. And then on the other side, you've got the sun hitting, the morning sun hitting the rock and bringing to life those deep oranges and reds. Just breathtaking. And it's quiet, there's a light breeze. Now uh, this is this is why you check these places out. They're popular for a reason, and the reason is they are spectacular, aren't they, Toby? What do you reckon? Good. Pretty cool. Bit yeah. of a mountain goat you are.
check out this just natural rock formation all around. This kind of little mini amphitheater here that's up the top of Kings Canyon. And then you've got Eli doing some parkour over there. <laughs> oh, this is such a cool little track. Got a moon just up there, Mr. Moon, out during the day, guys. So peaceful. Have a listen. And there aren't that many flies either. I've cursed it now. There's going to be about a billion flies in about 10 seconds. <laughs> So at the main lookout here, you've probably got one of the most breathtaking views you'll see, but it's interesting that it just looks like someone has come with a giant ice cream scoop and just scooped out this huge canyon. Cause like the, the patterns on the cliff over there behind me, it's just a sheer cliff face, but it, it's like it's been smoothed over by giants. It really is something to see with your own eyes. It is just a stunning, stunning, stunning walk. There's really not much else that can be said. Just incredible scenery. So I thought the view before was good. This one is even better. Get a load of that. Huh? Spectacular. King of the world kind of stuff. And it just goes all the way around 360 degrees of stunning Australian wild desert landscape. It is just beautiful. What an amazing place. Really what an amazing, amazing place. these layers of sandstone you can actually see the little ripples of where either the wind or the ocean has left the sand in that ever so ripply state <clears throat> just like you'd see at the beach and it's buried under millions of years of rock and it just makes you appreciate how 400 million years ago an ancient wind or an ancient sea has shaped that little piece of rock just to have it still here millions and millions of years later. This is before the dinosaurs. It's just very humbling, I must say. Very humbling indeed. From the um, top of the canyon, you drop down into one of the little sort of mini valleys here. And I reckon the temperature drops by about 20 degrees because <laughs> it's just so nice and cool. Well, it's gonna be nice and cool down there. As soon as I get back out into the sun here, it's probably gonna be a bit hotter. But um, it just, there's so many different types of scenery along here. So much 
just changes. And look, you can see, I'll show you down here now. I'll put some shots in actually. You've got this beautiful little oasis of water down in the valley. It's a mini valley, but it's still very high up. <clears throat> From staggering views on the top to cool, crystal clear, sacred water down below. This is pretty special. Yeah. You can hear just a quiet echo and a lark up in the tree. And Toby, of course. <laughs> huh? A lark. It's a crow. What's a lark? Wah. Wark. 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 But get a load of this, the reflection off the water and up to the cliffs. And it's beautiful and cool here. A lovely spot just to relax and reflect. I love it. Check this out. So you definitely wouldn't want to fall, that's for sure. <laughs> this has to be one of the most, this has to be an iconic Aussie walk, I reckon. Only six Ks, couple of hours with kids. And the scenery is Epic. A couple of hours. 10 out of 10. It's three hours on the side. 10 out of 10 because I think I'm about to run out of uh, battery slash space on my GoPro. <laughs> well, three hours on with a total of zero meltdowns. We have finished. We haven't finished yet. Don't, well, don't talk. <laughs> I want to jinx it. We're at, it's about 200 meters left before we get to the car park. But this is like, this is the crazy part. Um, yeah, we finished Kings Canyon Walk. It is. Probably one of the most beautiful walks we've ever done. But we're getting close to meltdown, don't, aren't we? Oh, Toby, we're getting there, my man. You've done so well. Yeah, a five-year-old to do this walk is well done. And mummy's gonna piggyback you the rest of the way. How's that, eh? Oh, if I can get up. Hashtag oh. my life. Love oh, it. Oh, I got no legs left. <laughs> so we've definitely done our exercise for the day, that's for sure. And yeah, big tick, so. Now we've got to get back because I think we're supposed to be checking out of the caravan park. <laughs> about now. <laughs> and then we're going to drive, but I'll talk to you about that in a bit. Kings Canyon, awesome.